we come against the, whether it's UC Berkeley, whether it's UC Davis, whether it's Irvine, whether it's on TV, we whoops the Zionists with an attitude like, oh, get on out here, sucker. Right? And you talking, just imagine you treat Netanyahu like that. Who are you talking to, sucker? And everybody is scared of him, right? He can go into Congress and talk about uh, Obama and got the whole Congress cheering him, standing up, right? They're afraid of him. They know where their bread and butter is buttered at, right? And we saw this old silly man, boy, you're just a fool. What do you, you think you're talking to? You think it's going to, hey, and you make fun of him? And if you make fun of him long enough, other people are going to say, them people ain't that bad because the nigga making fun of him. And he's still here. Right? They're going to start adding things up. And then after a while, they might creep out and try a little too. If they don't get hit too bad right away, they might keep coming out. Right? So we know what we're doing. We're not just happenstance. This stuff is so uh, complicated to everybody else they can't simplify this stuff that's their problem it's not ours because every time there's a dictator or a bully Allah gives somebody the something to uh, I was always talking about Ali and Leon's not Leon Spinks Ken Norton Ken Norton he can't fight whoop nobody but he can give Ali all the trouble uh, he just had his number, right? That's the way we are. We got the Zionist number. We can't lose. I, I just roll over. I don't even have to do no research. The Zionist is there. Sucker, what's wrong with you? And I'm going to pick out something and, 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 and drive on him. I, I ain't going to lose. Uh, and I'm not going to even make a sacrifice play like before we do one or two little sacrifice plays to get on base where, you know what I mean, now we can talk about them publicly. We ain't doing that. We ain't taking no chances. Anytime the Zionists come up, we're jumping on him right away. And he can't defend himself. He, he's defenseless. That's why you don't read nothing too much about Imam Musa no more. For years, the Zionists leave that nigga alone. It's a loss. Either kill him or leave him alone. He didn't talk so much and set so many things up for so many years that if he, we, something happened to him, everybody would know we did it. That's what I think they think, and they act like that that's what they're thinking. So long as they act like it, I don't care whether it's right. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, at the time that we're living in, uh, it looks like this is our job. And don't nobody want it, that's fine. But this is our job, to go after the Zionists. When we take the Zionists out, we'll be the world heroes. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. I mean, it don't make no difference, you know. I mean, but that's the way I see it. That we're going to lead the butt-kicking of the Zionists in front of everybody. And every time they open their mouth, we're going to slap something down, they push it right back down their throat. Who you talking to, old Zionist? You know, right? That's, that's our job. If that, if that type of thing don't happen, you can forget about the climate because the people are not going to fix the climate. And how much time? That's why we're on this, like, uh, we're very focused on when we go back to California, what we do and everything. 
because in the last, uh, during this year, the schedule and whooped up and changed. Because during the last period, that doesn't mean to say last year, last, we were taking our time and, uh, you know, uh, we're going to be around just a do, I hope, for another 25 years and we're going to do that. Okay, you might here be here, but you'll be living in a bubble. The earth ain't going to be. You know what I mean? It don't, it don't feel like it. So that's why we're speeding up uh, because that was what the last dispensation for, to relax, to take it easy, and to put everything in place. And you got to remember, uh, something is going on because everything that we have said over the years keep coming out, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, all of it. Okay, let me speed up. Forget about Suns Attack, the, the dumb Oakland team. The dumb Oakland team. When I say that they're dumb, I mean they're dumb. I mean like dumb. I mean like, let me say it again. And not just Mukhtar, and, but I mean Abdul Malik, them, Hashem. They always, they built them as a smart college grad, this and that, they're technically dumb. Because here's the thing. If you go back 25 years ago, we could talk to each other. We could understand each other. We didn't move on so far. They don't understand where I'm coming from now. Because we didn't just, we out of their arena. They haven't grown. We call them the high school Negroes. That's what we, high school Negroes. I'm thinking about changing it to elementary school Negroes. They're not, they're not, they're just standard functionaries for the government. And they couldn't evolve because uh, they go in the school. And the people teaching the school can't teach them nothing because all the stuff we're dealing with they don't know nothing about they can't learn anything because they can't get taught the people that's supposed to be teaching a PhD is like a little slip of paper as far as we're concerned yeah a PhD don't mean nothing because uh, psychology, sociology you write a little report on something other. you could read every sabakun it could be a uh, whatever they write for their, this is theirs. Everyone, right, tell the truth. And then not only that, them things, they come out. You can read it and you say, good God Almighty, that was 20 years ago, right? Tell the truth. Every one of them, I said, man, did I write that? I'm just saying, and now we're getting ready to write other stuff. Not getting ready, we're writing. We got notes. All this, all this stuff I keep and, and put it in a big a notepad, you know. And then uh, just we have fresh information all the time. All right. Anyway, let me speed up. And uh, we talked about the administrative state, the apparent state, the surface state, da 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 uh, this thing about our challenge, uh, and I'm not going to call them coons, but uh, Abdul Malik, Hashim, Mukhtar, Khadija, and all of them, because uh, they always put little messages on the phone. So I tell them the same thing. Noah tell them, y'all get you the screw. Everyone I got on this list, y'all get together. We'll have an open program anywhere you want. You're talking out the side of your mouth. It's Hashim Alauddin, Abdul Malik, y'all all called college graduates. Mukhtar and them, y'all graduated from clown school, so you, you ought to have some sense. 
Khadijah from Buffoonery School too. Uh, yeah, I have a few more names. All the other Negroes that, that was with y'all, y'all be their representative. And you want to have a public meeting somewhere? Write the date down, have it in the masjid out there. Have it outside, have it in the park. You get all the people together. You get them together. I ain't going to get nobody. I'm going to come there by myself and whoop y'all's behind. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's all. That we just, you know, they talking, uh, the people talk on, they always say, you are such and such. Yeah, they will get y'all's dumb stuff together. And I, I, I'll whip y'all's behind by myself. And the other thing, you got to look at the property we bought in Oakland. Uh, the part where we spent several years fixing it up, Mukhtar just sold it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, he don't get to keep the money, the government, because if he got the money with that property, he'd be gone. But uh, did I want him to sell it? Sure, I wanted to sell it, because I had Baba Clune there, and I'd just be saying, Baba Clune, Baba Clune, Baba Clune, they're going to sell that property. Baba Clune, they're going to sell that property. Baba Clune, I tell you, they're going to sell that property. So they called out there and told them to sell the property. Yeah, that's how that property got sold. They ain't had no idea about that. And that was years ago, so why I'm not going out there? Because we are in control of our own life, not them. And we can't lose this stuff. We're going to sue them for $200 million, but if we don't get $200 we don't. it's not like that that's what we have to have. But they're going to be humiliated in the public, historicizing that what everything we set out to do, chronicalize, archive, historicize, that's exactly what we have done, whether they liked it or not. And we've done that. And we'll do, you see them boxes down there, we're going to duplicate the uh, Check out all the DVDs we got. Well, we'll do the ones that we want. And we'll see if they got anything on them. And we're going to, no, we're going to, just like we used to. We just put out what we like, you know. Yeah. In other words, hey, it ain't no, I'm sorry. They should have messed with somebody else. This thing about evolution they don't grow. The white man has not grown a smidget. He's not growing. And the only reason you know he's not growing is because you are. That's the difference. Why they don't, can't do nothing about where we are now. We're out of their arena. We're out of their arena and they can't think about us correctly. They cannot think about us. I know where we are, I mean, I would say, I'm not saying I know, but I'm saying I have a, a good idea about all of this stuff. This is what I'm doing. This is what I do. I go down, I'll be, get a little rest, I'll go get a little something to eat, I'll, then, then I'll be right back. This is what I do all day long. I don't even have no hobby, you know. I don't even have no hobby. This is what I do. I, you know, can't miss. And it haven't missed because you have all of the CDs and DVDs. You can listen to them year after year after year and see how much sense do they make. Not whether you like it or not, but how much sense does it make? And who else have been saying anything like that that makes that sense during this period of time. So let me speed up a little bit. So the USA, you got to look at it. Government abuse, wrong in Iraq. It's wrong in Iraq. And everything, he got trapped in Iraq. 
Because let's go to Afghanistan. They went over there after the Russians left and they rolled in and they, it looked good for them. During 2001, up to about 2002 or three, then they came in. Bossman came in in 2003. And Afghanistan looked good. The Russians were sending them congratulations, congratulations, you did a good job. They did this to us, but you fixed them real good. That was a lot. Foolies, dummies. To make them think, right, that they got in, they got a free ride. They broke the Russians and they won't break us. That's what they was thinking. Allah fooled them. It ain't me and you fooled them. Allah fooled them. 